show you how easy this airport is. That's where I parked. And here's the airport. It's like going to a regular grocery store. Parking in the parking lot. No. Parking and getting on a shuttle and trying to find the airport. Easy. Easy. Caesar's Rewards. This is what we like about it. All right, everybody, we have arrived at Harris in Atlantic City, and I just want to show you around the place a little bit. So let's make that happen. All right, let's start here. This is the casino floor. See, it is a very large casino. Now, I did notice that they don't have the newest games, but they do have a lot of games. So there's plenty of games to choose from. Last night was Saturday night and it was packed in here. Today is Sunday, it's Mother's Day. So it's early in the morning, so it's not as crowded, but it does get crowded. A couple thoughts about the casino initially. A couple things that I do not like. So, when you go and play slot machines, you generally get to drink for free as long as you're playing. Well, at this place you can't really order from a waitress. You have to order off your machine. There's a button, which is nice, and that is convenient. However, you can't order a beverage until you've played at least $5 at a slot machine. And then once you order it, it tells you to stay put, so you have to wait for your drink to be ordered. Now, sometimes I would order a soda or something, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm done playing the game that I'm playing, but I can't leave until they arrive with my drink. And I thought that was a little bit goofy. Also, a few times I sat down on a machine and I played way more than $5. Tried to order a drink and it just wouldn't let me. So that's a bit of a negative. I'm not sure if it's like that everywhere in Atlantic City. We're gonna go to some other resorts and check it out. But all in all, I guess it's not too big of a deal. Hey, if you're playing slots and you're winning, you don't mind sitting there, right? But that's just a note. This is uh, right off the casino floor, AC Burger Company. It's a burger joint. I've um, read some reviews and it says that it's really good. And back in the back is a poker room. I went by there last night because we ate at McCormick and Schmick and it was pretty, pretty crowded. So let's go ahead here. We're gonna head up this escalator and see what's up on the top shelf. At the top of this is Amor Taranos Italian Restaurante. Looks pretty fancy. Let's take a peek in the window. Very nice in there. Looks like an open kitchen. You could probably watch them fire up the pizzas, maybe. And as we go back here, you're going to see the ever popular Gordon Ramsay steakhouse. Here's an example of the offerings. Smoked Wagyu beef tartare. Roasted beef Wellington. That's what he's known for. $68. Chilean sea pass $60. Steaks $90 for a 24 ounce bone in ribeye. So Typical Gordon Ramsay high-priced steakhouse, but it's usually pretty good. So if you're splurging and you're out 
you're on vacation, you're having fun, why not? These escalators go ahead up to the, I think there's like a ballroom up there. Let's head back down. Back here, that is McCormick and Schmick restaurant right next to their sports book. I did sit down here and watch the Penguins win the playoff game. Now, two to one, I think, Penn's favor. But there were a lot of people filling up this room and it was a good time. Everybody seemed to like watching the hockey game or the NBA playoff game. I'm not even sure who was playing. But as I'm walking, you can see how big this casino is. Let's see. All right. This elevator goes to the atrium suites. Sounds kind of fancy. I bet that those rooms are nice. This will lead us to the front desk. They do have a spa here. Caesars Eats. I'm not sure. I think this is just an advertisement. This place doesn't look open. And over here is this little cafe. I think it's called Taza. We had a sandwich here, spicy chicken sandwich, which was pretty good. But they have delicious nuts and amazing looking gelato. And yes, they do have gelato shakes. I'm gonna be trying this place. Breakfast sandwiches, lunch, just a quick grab and go. Or there's some seating here. But it was it was good. The sandwich was good and everything looks pretty good. These are the elevators to the Laguna Tower where we're staying. And this is the main lobby check-in area. You can see it's very busy. Excuse me. A lot of people coming in. And this lobby bar looks pretty fancy. And this is the waterfront. I'm not sure what the waterfront is. Let's explore together. This looks very cool. Viking cooking school. I don't know what this is about, but if you can go in there and they teach you how to cook a meal, looks pretty good. There's destinations. This is the gift shop and snacks and your alcoholic beverages. Let's head down this way. There's more restaurants in the pool. All right, this is the elevators back there to the Bayview Tower. So the pool here is supposed to be the best in Atlantic City. It's indoor. It looks amazing. I think they have day pool parties. And they have pool after dark. Which they turn the pool into a nightclub. We didn't go, but the pictures I saw looked pretty amazing. Just swing back around here. 
with some pizza. Guy Fieri's sandwich joint. And look at this. It's a big atrium with a pool. And you can see the stage where they have a DJ, big screen TVs. I think we're gonna go to the pool tomorrow. It's Sunday and it doesn't look that busy. So tomorrow, I'd imagine it'd be less busy. This is another bar. So it's kind of like a Vegas style resort as far as the size of it. It really is large. Casino floor is big, poker room. Coastal craft kitchen and bar. Hopefully we can eat breakfast there tomorrow because it looks really nice. And I'll bet you breakfast is good. Here's the spa, which is right across from the pool. Hello. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Tomorrow, we'll probably come down tomorrow. We'll be open. Do you guys have day parties? Yes, we had um, every Saturday we do our day party. And what about the night party? Um, that is every Wednesday, Thursday, I mean, excuse me, every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Well, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, and that's probably really crazy. Oh heck yeah! Because uh, yesterday was uh, it was a good crowd yesterday. Yeah. Um, it wasn't too crazy, but it was crazy in here. And then we closed down for a little bit, and then we just reopened again for nightlife. I'm surprised it's not busier with the weather outside, huh? Ah uh, yeah, that's what we said yesterday. We thought it was gonna be way busier, but I think it is Mother's Day too. Maybe it's yeah. Like a mile just passed. Yep. So people are probably taking a break. <laughs> Recovering. <laughs> can I get up out this door, or do I gotta go a different uh, way? You can go out. Uh, there's actually an exit down that way too. Okay, perfect. It's like a glass exit. All right, thanks. Yeah, I need to. Really super cool. Look at this. Can you just see yourself on those Adirondack chairs under this big hanging shell type apparatus? And there's a bar. TVs, so you don't miss your sporting events. This would be a really cool place to hang out on football Sunday. So that's the pool area. Pretty, pretty nice. Exhibition bar. Last night, this place was jumping, bumping music in there. It was really crowded. Looks pretty nice. Nice seating. It's just a round bar right here in the middle of the casino floor. So I recommend it. Sorry. Okay, that was the tour of Harrah's in Atlantic City. Uh, I'd like to take a minute now to give you some closing thoughts. Before I take these trips, I always watch a lot of videos. There's a lot of things that aren't said that um, I'm looking for. So I'm gonna try to mention that stuff uh, right now. First of all, $269 was the cost for Heather and I that was our round trip flights. Again, on Caesars Rewards, the flight includes one checked bag. It includes your transfers to Harris and three nights stay at Harris in this beautiful, beautiful room. I mean, it's a king size bed, a nice little lounge area over there with that chaise lounge, um, lots of space. The bathroom was nice. It was a little bit dated, but it 
was clean, and that's probably the most important thing. It had everything we needed, so we were pretty happy with the room. So staying at Harrah's, you are over in a section where there's pretty much Harris and then the Borgata. I've seen online where people say you can walk to the Borgata. I suppose you could. You could probably walk anywhere. I wouldn't. Um, to get to the Borgata, the walk, it appears to me like you got across major highways. And I'm not talking like Las Vegas Boulevard where there's a crosswalk. I'm talking about a major highway. So I, I don't know that you could walk it. But there is this thing called the Jitney, which uh, runs like every 10 minutes. It's $2.25 a person. And it'll take you over there. Also by the Borgata is the Golden Nugget. We did take the Jitney over to the Borgata. It was a nice quick ride because it was very close. The Borgata was so crowded that we couldn't even find a slot machine to play. I mean, that's no joke. So we didn't stay there all that long. We went back to Harris actually, and the casino at Harris was very comfortable in there and there wasn't type of that type of a crowd. But to take that jitney over there is easy, it's quick, and then you can get back to Harris. Now, heading to the boardwalk, where Caesars is in Tropicana, in Ocean, Hard Rock, Valleys. That's a that's that's a ways away. So you can Uber it, you can take the Jitney. So we decided we were gonna take the Jitney because we took it to the Borgata and it was pretty easy, quick and easy. Not a great experience. It was, uh, like I said, two and a quarter a person, so that's 450, I gave the guy a five. It was a rough ride um, through some rough areas, a million stops, passengers that were fighting with the bus driver didn't feel safe it took us about 45 minutes or so to get to the boardwalk so as soon as we got off that jitney on the boardwalk Heather looked at me I looked at her and I said we are gonna take an uber back for sure but just wanted to give you that information because when I looked at it I you know, try to find maps online to see where they're at and you can find a map that shows you where the properties are but it's hard to tell distance so don't, I'm not sure that it's walkable however we got there we got down to the boardwalk and I thought it was beautiful now this was in May there were like 35 mile an hour winds maybe even heavier gusts when we flew into the airport, our plane had rough landing. I mean, it was all over the place because the wind was so crazy. So the weather was, uh, it was nice. It was beautiful. You could see the blue skies and, and when you were in the sun, it was fine. It was just very, very windy. We enjoyed the boardwalk. Um, we went to Caesars. If you think you're going to go to Caesars and you're going to be at a little Caesars like in Vegas, think again, not even close. Um, wasn't the nicest place um, we found Bally's to be really nice we found Hard Rock to be amazing so we did go through all the casinos down there we had some food down there and it was really nice it wasn't the best weather when we go back and it's warmer out I think if I go back I would want to stay on the boardwalk just so that you could get up get your coffee and walk the boardwalk so if you have any other questions about this trip Go ahead and comment below. We'd be happy to answer anything that you have. As always, we appreciate you watching. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. We love you all. God bless. Thanks for watching.